Hello and welcome to what's effectively episode 3 of Missile Industries Ford Falcon 351 Krusty Wagon Project. And on this episode I'm going to pull some panels off, have a poke around, and see how much rust this car has. It doesn't look too rusty from where I'm standing right now, but you never can tell until you've had a poke and a prod and pulled some uh, panels off. Would you look at that? Metal! It's all metal! I've never seen one that good! Let's go have a look at the seal. I might do a little bit more digging and come back to this. So have a look at that, there's barely any evidence of rust up there. Let me go down here to what I think is called the torque box in the sill. It is all looking excellent, I have never seen one as good as this. Let's go check the other side out. Uh, the passenger side. It looks pretty good too. That looks like it's nothing but factory metal. This usually just rusts out entirely. I think my one had a giant hole right here through all the layers of metal that I had to repair. Right there. Well, this is this has got none. That's just surface rust from old age. Let's have a look further down here. Now this side hasn't escaped unscathed. Because there's a bit of rust. Rust in there. Bit of rust down there too. That is definitely need to be fixed. But I've seen worse for sure. Judging by the state of the left hand guard. And that this is all pushed in, I'd say it's copped a bit of a wallop here. And as a consequence, rust has gotten in and chewed it all out. And what's this then? I bet that's 20 cents. Looks like a coin. It is a 20 cent piece. 1974. It's older than I am. If we look along the door line, we can see evidence that the doors definitely need some repair. Pretty normal for a car this age for the doors to go on it. I won't imagine that would be too bad. I reckon I can probably cut and plate that without too much drama. This one here, it just looks like surface rust. The sills are in really good shape. That might be some bubbling there, but it all sounds like. Sounds like metal. Oh, sounds so good. I can get this door open. I'd like to have a look on the inside to see how bad the rust is. Along in the lowers. The driver's side looks pretty damn good. See the wheel wells still have all their metal in them. You can see surface rust everywhere. Even the wheel arches are mint. Because these commonly go right over there. Bit of cancer coming through here, but 
What do you expect for a 47 year old car? I mean that is no big deal. In the land of Ford Falcon restoration projects, that's that's like a minimum standard. That's like probably the worst you or the, probably the best case scenario you'll see is your rear quarters need to be redone. I mean I've already done that on my XC once already. And I did both of them on my coupe way back when. This car is looking pretty good for its age. If we look inside this door, there's a little bit of cancer on the inside here. Particularly in this corner here, it's probably been filled with mud over the years and it's eventually just rusted itself out. If we look at the, um, what do you call this, the torque box? This looks like it's all, all metal, all of it. All of this is flawless. I mean, bad ones of these, they rust out through here. And rust out around the bottom of this thing here. It's usually pretty catastrophic. The passenger side floor has a little bit of rust in it. The driver's side floor looks pretty good. This was an air conditioning car, so I expect there's probably a little bit of dampness in the passenger side footwell from all the years of running the aircon. The driver's side looks pretty damn sweet. I mean, even if you look at the drip channels, I mean, by the time these cars get to this age, even the drip channels are falling apart. There's a little bit of corrosion getting into the drip channel there because the paint's all flaked away, but it's just so good. All right, onwards to the passenger side. Now, as I noted earlier when I pulled this left-hand guard off, it's taken a bit of a whack right here, and all of this sill panel has been compromised because of the impact from the crash I suspect so that's all rusted out through there and all the front of that uh, inner sill has fallen apart uh, that lower door looks pretty horrendous but again if the frame's still okay it could be repaired so someone's already been in here with the bog and done a pretty slapdash job I'm assuming they just bogged that up and painted it and said she'll be right mate you can actually see the film of bog there so that was done pretty shoddily and I'll probably get the door open have a bit of a squiz because again the sills still look great that rear passenger door still looks good so good. This door. This is the door. All the structure, all the structure in this car looks mint. Again, drip rails, really good condition. That's getting a little bit crusty there because of the layers of paint that are splitting away. We'll just move some stuff out of the way, I'll get this door open. Here we are inside left front door and the A pillar structure all looks terrific. All looks great. All the way down to that footing there. So when I bought my one home all those years ago, that actual this this bit here was completely gone. I had to rebuild that from scratch in my sedan. This one here. It's all factory original. This door has been fixed once before. As you can see, it's had a bit of a patch and bog over what I would assume is rust that wasn't removed. So whoever's attempted to fix this hasn't really committed to a very thorough job. Look under there. Corner's gone. I'll probably have to do the entire outer skin of the lower of the outside of this door. Let's have a look at the passenger door. A little bit of surface rust. 
Maybe pressing the door, maybe something coming through there. Seems to look great. Any guards are still, still good. Wheel arches are good. Oh, it's just so good. All right, now let's look at the bum. Now, I've seen these wagons advertised for sale online as um, project cars, and the total, all of this, all of this is rotted out. It's rusted away. The bum ends of these cars are usually a total disaster area because of the tailgate arrangement, and I'm assuming all the muck that create that collects underneath the bar and the tailgate this has some rust in it. But it looks like mostly metal. Obviously there's some surface rust. A few holes coming through there. Which I'm pretty sure a handyman could sort out. Tailgate. Could seem better days, but again this is all on the flat. Nice and easy to fix. Just cut, cut and plate, weld it in, smooth it over. It's all pretty doable. Everything around here, that all looks like metal. That looks pretty damn good. If this was a coupe, it'd just be toast. It'd be so toasted. See, good metal, good metal everywhere. Man, I don't imagine this would take much to fix if you're going to be pedantic. I think my only concern really with getting this car into a usable state is finding the parts to get this rear window to seal again because whatever goes in here, up in here to hold the glass or seal the glass, it's long gone and I'd probably have to track one down and pill for all the parts off of it to get this rear window to close properly again because at the moment at the moment the window glass kind of just rattles there and I can't really figure out how the whole thing stays in there because once the glass comes down you just pull this open and the tailgate flops down Hit the motor. Let's see if it is. Mm, yeah, it's gonna hit the motor. And it's a very, very heavy tailgate. And as we can see, the structure around the tailgate is pretty damn good. No evidence of rust in any of that. Very heavy tailgate though. Snot down there. There's definitely some holes in that. Well, I'll try and take this tailgate off. So after gurneying all the schmutz off this engine bay, or at least some of the schmutz, 
I discovered a dirty great crack right through the subframe and I'm pretty sure this is attached to the car so I don't know whether that's a deal breaker for repairing it or not So, summary time for episode 3 of Missile Industries Krusty Ford Falcon 351 Wagon Project. Not so much a project, but a bit of a archaeology dig of how this car has shaped up after 345,000 kilometers of uh, rural life. And it doesn't have much rust, all things considered it's in pretty good shape, but the uh, front subframe does have a huge structural crack in it and I'm not sure whether that's repairable to be perfectly honest I mean I could have a go at welding it up but I could just as easily have a go at ruining it I should probably add I gurneyed kilos and kilos and kilos of red mud out of the front end of this car it was like an amalgam of mud and oil now I don't know whether the car just profusely leaked oil from engine and gearbox or whether it was being deliberately fish oiled or something like that I don't know but the front of the car is a very oily crusty mess and I imagine the rest of the undercarriage of the car is probably much the same you can see if I can save that front subframe maybe not So, summary time for what's effectively episode 3 of my Krusty 351 wagon pro 